copies of Romeo and Juliet. Hello, I'm Hayley and today I'm bringing you my March wrap up. I'm going to continue looking back and forth between my bullet journal just because I've written down what I read and what I watched. So first off I'm going to start with the TV shows I watched because that's the easiest to get through. So basically I didn't watch that many this month of March. I um, watched I'm Not Okay With This and I rated that one four stars. That one is great for teens. I think the main actress is beautiful and very talented. Really like her. And then I also finished watching the Formula One season two. So I've now finished season one and season two and I enjoyed them a lot. March was the month that I um, got really obsessed with Formula One. Um, I even tried to do a spread of it in my bullet journal, but I've like taped it up because um, everything being cancelled and whatnot, I was like, I don't want to do a huge thing. And then I also watched season one of On My Block. I feel like I've been wanting to watch this show so long ago, and I finally did, and now I understand why everyone loves it. The movies that I watched this month, I watched Doctor Sleep, Hellboy, Shape of Water, Hellboy 2, um, Grease, Grease 2, and Beetlejuice. Um, I'm a fan of Beetlejuice, and my roommate hadn't seen it yet, so I made her watch it. And then Hellboy and Hellboy 2, as well as Shape of Water, are all like directed by one of my favourite directors. And I've already seen Shape of Water, and I watched Hellboy for the first time, so yeah, it was good. I like Grease a lot. Grease 2 is one of my favourite movies. Roommates hadn't seen them, so that's why I made them watch the second one. And Doctor Sleep, I just hadn't seen it yet, and I got it on DVD. And I was like, yeah, I would maybe even miss watch The Shining, because we have another scratch off list in the lounge room for movies, and yeah, made them watch that. So, alright, let's get into the books. I have a few of them here, and I'm gonna start one by one with what I read first. So, I read the Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde from Robert Louis Stevenson. Now this one also, this bind up has other stories as well, but I did not read the other stories and it's a very short story. I thought it was going to be longer. So I don't know, it was just, it was good. I really enjoyed it. I just thought it was gonna be longer. So I was a little bit disappointed that this was like, not even like a quarter of the book and like all the rest of the stories though I will be going back and reading the stories at some other point in the future so for that one I rated four stars it's one of those books that I want to reread and I'm finding my genre um I did also DNF one of my first few books like officially DNF and that was for the ghost of heaven um the dark struggles up here this book, I figured wasn't going to be my type of book, but I didn't want to put myself, like stop myself from reading something that I've had for so long. I've had this book on my shelf for like freaking four years, three years, I swear. And this one, I did not even know what it was about. I just thought it looked pretty. And it is pretty, like it is a very pretty book, but it's one of those dual perspective kind of stories where there's like four different stories that all link together. But me personally, in the mood that I was in this month, I didn't enjoy it that, like, that much at all. So I read the first story from the first perspective of like a cave woman of sorts, but not good enough for me to continue reading because I was getting really bored, really bogged down by it. And I ended up just DNFing it this month. Maybe in possible future, I might get back to it, but I don't. I read uh dc comics bombshells volume one enlisted and so she can do it it's very much so my aesthetic we love a good vintage either way i thought everyone looked hot as shit um we had some queer representation and some good old sisterly love i got really excited when i saw this picture and then i looked over here and i was like oh, extra gay um just, oh my god, I have the biggest crush on Poison Ivy these days, I swear. It's bad. I don't know, this one is like set across World War II. Heroes and villains of the DC universe. All females, by the way. It's just good. 
it wasn't like anything it was i think i've rated it three stars because it wasn't it didn't make me sad or anything it i got what i expected out of it, it made me smile made me laugh made me i really enjoyed the artwork in here yeah that was that pretty good but yeah and i did not finish i got let's see how far did i get i got to the round the blah, blah, blah. I read 632 pages out of this. So this big front chunk I've read, and then this last little bit I haven't finished yet. Um, I interchange between audiobook and reading alongside the audiobook, as well as just reading. This hardcover copy is very difficult to read. It is so annoying to carry around. It's really heavy too. Oh, I didn't even say the name of the book. Um, this is The Complete Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Um, this is the Barnes & Noble Hardback Editions, which I do really, really like. I have a few of them in the bottom of my shelf here. This bottom shelf is looking a bit bare and a bit gross, but I had to put them on the very bottom because they're too heavy to reach on the rest. Um, these are the, uh, the collection that I'm stopping from collecting, so I'm going to continue keeping the ones that I already have, but they are more expensive, and I do prefer these softback versions. I think this one had about five stories all up. Yeah, so five stories all up. They're all pretty long stories and I also listened to these a lot of the way alongside reading. I did purchase some books this month. I did buy two. I bought Persuasion by Jane Austen in the Barnes & Noble soft cover and I also bought the cutest little Romeo and Juliet. I almost bought another copy of Romeo and Juliet as well, but I figured I just should buy one considering I already have Romeo and Juliet that I read, which is a old library edition from, I think my uncle read it in school or my dad and I found it on my dad. So yeah, those are the books that I had read and purchased this month. Um, I'm going to scratch off one of these. This book, this doesn't even have Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde on it. So I did not read any of the books on this list this month. And I believe that is all. I don't think I have anything else to talk about. So thank you for watching. Um, and I'll see you next time, I guess. Bye-bye.